lagi Cukulah kau dapatkan diri lebih Buru kaya kapak pundi dulu kumba Syukulah kumba lagi Cukulah kumba Don't say anything until I say your names You ready, Captain? It's a free for all. Five. Do it Four. Hawaiian style, though, because that's not Hawaiian style. Five. <laughs> Four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, brother. Two. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's very. Hey, man. One. Yeah. Wakal, shh. Wakalani manata tu. Payatu wakanala pata Ololoa oa ikini Taya patu Wa ayalani Welcome <laughs> to another episode of Tiger Brother This, we're, we're traveling we're traveling. This is our uh, our traveling show. We never go outside of L.A. And I, I found it necessary to come to Aloha, Hawaii, Honolulu, and uh, Mahalo. I don't know what they mean, but I always say both at the same time. When I meet Hawaiians, I go Aloha, Mahalo at the same mm. time. Mm. Beep. And uh, <laughs> I love you. And we have beautiful people in the room. Um, I just have to say... Um, I have to introduce people in the room. We got... Fuck. <laughs> God damn it, man. I thought you were going to be less white <laughs> in Hawaii, but no, man. you're just as white, bro. It's hurts. sadder almost. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, welcome George, right? <laughs> My producer. Known him for forever. We got flat face. <laughs> Wakahali mala. Aloha mahalo. Aloha la mahalo. Aloha he, mahalo. He, we brought him because he resembles a tiki statue. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? We got my beautiful um, girlfriend, Kalila. Thank you. Uh, we got um, <laughs> Gilbert's sister, Gabby. Thank you for coming and thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. All right. Arakakarato ogamash. Arigato. To you. And um, I have to say that, um, you know, I have to say, <laughs> can I touch? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I don't know. I said not to talk until <laughs> there are rules. <laughs> but I, <laughs> did you just fart? <laughs> did you just fart? <laughs> well, you, can't, you, said he couldn't, you said he couldn't talk, but he could fart. <laughs> you eat <laughs> it. Wow, he's oh, so, wow. He's so talented. Are they real? It's a chair. Oh, it's a chair? Oh, damn. It's called magic, guys. You should, you should go to America's Got Talent. That was very good. But I have to say that, um, you know, I haven't worked a lot as an actor. I do the best I can. Um, but sometimes I've, do, I've done, you know, guest starring on shows, and the lead actors are such pieces of shits. And, they, you know, you try to create some mm -hmm. sort of rapport. They don't want to talk to you. And then at the end, you go, okay, well, nice working with you. And they go, nothing. They say nothing. And so, I, you know, I was kind of dreading doing Magnum P.I. the first time. But I have to say um, that you guys are uh, – instantaneously, I felt like, oh, they, they're nice. But then I think, you know, through time, I just thought to myself, I really li like them a lot. And I've said that – So many times. So many times that they're really nice, you know what I mean? And – um. Um, I view you guys as, you know, like comics almost, you know what I mean? Like I have that kind of feeling rapport. So I want to introduce them. Jay Hernandez, give him a round of applause. Yeah! yeah. Perdita Weeks, give her a round of applause. We can, we can talk now. You can talk, you can talk, you can talk. You can talk I've been now. waiting. I, just, no, <laughs> I just realized I had the microphone. Like, <laughs> my stomach is rumbling. So I, okay. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, we heard it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, well, you don't eat? <laughs> no, I, I haven't. I, I, will, I will. I just need to, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then I can eat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Clara, that you're sitting on the floor. Oh no, I'm comfortable. Okay. She wanted to do that. Natural position. Jay, have you always been nice? <laughs> He's like, I was an asshole before. No, I uh, <laughs> been a dick for a very long time. I've, I've worked hard. You yeah. know? I've made progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I sometimes relapse. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I can attest to that. Yeah. Oh yeah. wait, so when, like, when do you like? Because I, I even, I mean, you know, I even get like weird people come up to me, and I'm kind of a standoffish. What kind of person makes you turn standoffish? 
Um, the kind that breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Like oftentimes, <laughs> yeah. I find the ones that are alive tend to be annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, like probably dial the mist on three down. It's just an oh off. yeah, no, I'm I was kidding. I was kidding. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, you know, trying Take to be it. funny. No, um, uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, well, you're eating. You know, you know what it is? It's yeah. my it's my mood. Like if, uh. if, I, if I'm okay, like if I'm gonna, you know, I'm out in the public. I know, like what people are. I'm just like whatever. It's fine. I, I'm used to that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what, do these people say rude shit? No, never. Good. Yeah, uh, it's kind of odd. Nobody ever talks shit to me. You're really lucky. He gets yeah. picked up by strangers and thrown around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. They yeah. play with his body. They, yeah, they, they, why, why do they find it's okay to Because I'm little. Why do touch you? Because I'm, I'm little and sometimes they're drunk and I get people like, hey, like, and they'll do, I hate it when they do like an Asian accent. Mm. So they'll go, hey, ching, chong, dong, dong, dong. Yeah. And they'll pick me up by my neck. And go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll go, God damn it, you're funny and cute, right? <laughs> and they'll just keep me up there like I'm some sort of like trophy. Totem. Yeah. yeah. Totem. And I can't breathe. I'm up there. I can't breathe. You That's know what I mean? horrific. Yeah. It's horrific. You could press charges for that. I know. But the thing is, is that um, I, I feel like if I don't go along with it. It just gets worse. Yeah, they're not going to. Also, I, I'm needy. And I oh, oh they're like not going to like you. Likes, <laughs> she likes being handled. Oh, yeah. Part of you does like being touched. I like, oh, I love I being touched. I fondled the <laughs> shit out of him on set. <laughs> I, know. I don't even know. When he well. was dressed as Yoko actually, Ono, I, I, yeah. You you have the, the, the power then because normally he's like a cat. So he likes to approach, <laughs> but he doesn't like to be approached. Uh, so that's a power uh, move. He actually is very weak to people coming oh, really? and touching him. Yes. Oh, shit. No, he only was a fully f- presenting, and that's why Jay, uh, <laughs> Jay was like, I yeah. see my moment. Yeah. Uh, but you're also very friendly with me, too, Purper. Purper? <laughs> purper. <Pur-pur. laughs> yeah, I'm a friendly you're, kind of gal. Yeah, you're a little wild. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly. <laughs> the last about, time I saw you. Yeah, you're, you're a fucking wild one. I, the last time I saw you two was on the plane, and I hadn't slept. I, did, I don't know if you... But you did me dish. such a solid, because I walked through... Dude, you walk- <laughs> Half a mile... Into LAX, <laughs> dragging the airplane blanket out of my butt, and you never told me that uh, I was dragging yeah. an airplane blanket. I was like, run off and you. I was like, you were like, oh, I love. Yeah. Yeah, but you're wild. You're wild. Even that night, though, you can. Do you have the wild eye? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Occasionally, just to, uh, just to get. <laughs> I t- did warn you that I was gonna that I would see you and I wouldn't have slept. Yeah, it was I got seven thirty a.m. But it was like Sid and Nancy wild almost, <laughs> right? Like right, like just another reference. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do you know who Sid and Nancy are, Perdita? As in. <laughs> As in, uh, as in, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as in the sex Yes. Oh. Okay, well, I just was like wondering because then you made me second guess myself. <laughs> as always. I, I, if wow. you know, you know. Sid Vicious. Okay, fine. There we go. Thank okay, you. Fine. Phew. Well, okay. Fuck you. I'm yeah. like yeah, thoroughly you. impressed. You. Thoroughly Why are you impressed. impressed. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's I know pistols. stuff. Sex pistols. Oh, I like, I don't like it. I don't look cool. You see my trousers? You're very cool. Yes. I, I, it's quite evident by your pants. You're very cool. <laughs> Cool dude. But uh, how do you like go out and do all that and then show up at work and all that? It's just I, it was a Friday. <laughs> oh, that, that, that is true. That, that is. So you don't do that every night. No. It was also right before she, you were going to go home for the holiday. Yeah, yeah to right. my birthday party. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, That's I was right. covered in glitter still. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I remember. Yeah. Oh it's God. cool too because you hang out with the crew as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we have a great crew. Also, like we film a location, so like. You don't have to. This is like no, not because a because I but, but, no one else. but I heard. Uh, I mean, I don't know much about it, but the, I heard. I can say it because they'll never do that. I'll do Hawaii Five O, but I heard. No, they some, don't. I heard some of them. I don't know who's on it, and just flag me because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> but but I have heard, and you don't have to back no, me they up. They do. They do. But I've heard there's a couple of guys on that show that are difficult. But that's like in LA, you know about it. Uh, I mean, yeah, everyone's everyone's heard that. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Just, I know. No, I'm saying that <laughs> probably some truth to that. There might be some truth. I all. don't. Yeah. I do. I think. I just think it's like it's, they've been doing it a long time. I think, and people, mm. you know. I don't think that's it. That will, oh, no, we're going to be such a holes, and like if we keep going for ten years, no. I, I can tell well, you are. <laughs> no. no, your I, charm is wearing very fucking. <laughs> <laughs> 
are you little, talking about? Little bald and spots, <laughs> like just rubbed raw, like just the abrasiveness of having to deal with human beings on a daily basis. No, 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 no it's not. It's not fake. No, I disagree. No, I, I don't. I don't think you will be. But the, I might be. But pretty, the feeling on the show. I, I don't want this to be a Magnum PI. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a spot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be? Let's just we'll just t- touch upon it, right? Yeah. But, but, but just we're gonna talk about this after. What? I want to talk about Kobe. I want to talk about. Okay. Yeah, man. Were you sad about that? Oh my God! It like, it was, it it fucked me up in a way that I was. It was unexpected. Me too. Yeah. I really still did. think about it every day. I, I, so do I. It's, it's crazy. You do you know who Kobe Bryant is? <laughs> okay. So <laughs> she's like, yeah. defend yourself. Yeah. Defend yourself. He's it's, playing it's, in the Super football. Bowl tomorrow. Yeah. Isn't it's it? Not, yeah. <laughs> Ball. You know what I mean? Um, so I did know who he was, uh, but I didn't. I wasn't as aware. But obviously, like Jay was, re- like, and everyone at work was super upset about it. So, yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's um, I don't know. I, I'm not. A, I don't. I'm not a Laker fan. I have to say it. I live in L.A. Okay. Could no, I but know? you're just not a fan of basketball. I, not, I just not, don't like not bas- I don't like basketball. Just, yeah. I don't like sports ball. Which is fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's I like fine. sports it's ball. Really fine. Yeah. 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 Which is fine, right? But <clears throat> it's not the fact that he was a legend. He is a legend in, in, in NBA, but it was just the way it happened and just the way his wife and his family. I mean, it's just so sad. Just the whole the way the whole thing went down and and it's just, I don't know, man, because my dad died in August and I guess, you know what I mean? I, I just, I just feel bad. I just feel fair em- empathy for the family. It's, it's also, you know, the combination of uh, both losing two members of your family like that and knowing that, I don't know. I just like, it's just horrific. It's, <laughs> I don't know why I just I laughed. Love, I don't know why I just laughed. I have to got laugh. really uncomfortable. <laughs> you got really uncomfortable. I laugh, I laugh I mean, when it gets that, You know, like, yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's what you do. You're a comedian, right? Yeah. So you I just laugh can't when it. shit is uncomfortable yeah. sometimes. Are you and, feeling and, uncomfortable, Bobby? Is it making you uncomfortable? Should we talk about your feelings? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, and I, when it gets real, I giggle just because of a defense mechanism totally, that I have. Totally, sure. totally, sure. totally. But it's not because I, no, yeah, no, I'm no. mocking it. No, 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 of course. It. It's human. Yeah. Did you guys uh, hear about um, the comedian who tweeted what he tweeted about Kobe Bryant like f- 10 minutes after his death? No, what did he say? Oh, my oh, God. God. So he's, he's done this? our podcast. Did he know? So he's, he knew that he he's had a died. comic. His name's yeah. Ari Shafir. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And he tweeted something along the lines of, uh, Kobe is a, ra- uh, is a rapist. Whoever forgot to put... Um, gas in that chopper is a hero or something the like fuck that. Out of Are you he, serious? Yeah. And his daughter died. And he, un- yeah. Fuck the. La- and then. Her- and then he did a like a, a video. He did a video as well. Like yeah, twenty one's too twenty one years too late or something oh, yeah, like was that. Like, yeah, Kobe died twenty three years too late. Too late. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. La, you know, I'm not even gonna go into that whole the other side of things but the man just died with his fucking daughter and his family like fuck that guy <laughs> I, 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 that guy's just trying to like capitalize on a moment now yeah, like we're funny. talking about him other people who never knew who he was gave a shit about him for 10 minutes fuck yeah. that dude. I, know, I know but I have to say he's also beat Bobby up three times he's beat the <laughs> Wait, shit out of me physically had him assaulted him are you serious yeah. Yeah. he kicked what? me in the face 50 times it sounds, like a, it sounds like a sweetheart <laughs> <laughs> he really is a sweetheart. Yeah. Um, but the thing is is that um, he's because he hangs out with everybody. He's not just some unknown guy. He's yeah. Joe Rogan's right hand guy. Are you serious? Yeah, he's he's always at the clubs. I've known him for twenty over twenty years. Wait, um, but how did it just rewind, how does he get to come to be kicking you in the face fifty times? Oh God. <laughs> Dare I ask? Dare I ask? Yeah, you can uh, ask. It's, it was over a girl, but not a girl that Bobby had. It, it, Bobby sided yeah. with the guy. No, 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 no. That's not what happened. <laughs> oh, here's yes. that's not what fucking happened. The real stories. The real stories coming out. <laughs> Essentially, it's this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, it's this. All right. So, do you know who y- 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 Natasha Leggero is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who she sure, is. Yeah. She used to date him. Mm-hmm. They lived together, and they were in love. Okay. They were making sweet. He was a big Jewish guy. Boinking her with a Jew dick. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so he just gave her. So he just gave her. Gave her Isn't some it of sweet? it. Is it sweet? It's so sweet the way I describe her, right? Boink, boink, boink all night, right? Aw. <laughs> and then what happened was, um, I had a friend from Canada, right, who saw her perform at the comedy store, and he goes, "I want to boink her." Right? I go, who uses the word boink? I love the what word What is this, the 1950s, bitch? You know what I mean? 
He goes, I want to point, point, point. And I go, all right, all right stop <laughs> saying that. Anyway, so I, he, he, caught, he got her number behind my back, even though I told him that she, he's living with my friend Ari. Yeah. And eventually she leaves him. Mm. For this dude. For, for the this other dude. For, my, for, yeah, for the boinker. Mm -hmm. For Canadian boinker. Right. right? right. So then what did they say it different in Canadian? Canadian boinking. <laughs> do, do they say uh, boink, boinking? Yeah, boinking. Boinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very good, Perdita. And um, so then what happened was he, he calls me one day. He's crying and he goes, she loved me. I go, I'm so sorry. And he goes, did you set them up? Because no one knew him except for me. And I go, no, I, why would I fucking do that? He goes, well, because he was on a cast member on Mad TV when I was on Mad TV. Oh. And he asked me to break into Ron's office to steal the emails between Natasha and this guy, right? Who? Wow. Cool. To catch your red hand. Like, like I'm fucking behind. Ethan Hunter. Yes. Shit. What? Yes. Like Do you need a private investigator? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You got two, like right? You need a private investigator. You got a twofer. <laughs> yeah. So then <laughs> what happened was I go, I I'm not going to do that. He goes, well, then you set them up. So the next night, I was at the- Which is logical. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. You're siding with them. But then the next night, I, I fucking- Cook him in the- Checking in at, at you know, because when you go to the comedy club, you have to check in at the, at the um, booth. And I said, I'm Bob, I'm here. And then all of a sudden, I blacked out. Oh, he, Wait, che what? he cheap shotted you from behind. <laughs> he came from behind. Are you being serious? Yeah, oh. and then at what at your place of work? Yeah, at the comedy club store. Crikey! So I'm on the ground, and he kicks me in the face like 50 times, right? And then is he drunk? No. What? Just full of rage. Wow. A lot what of kind rage. of shoes was he wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Winkle pickers, really, really yeah, did the, some damage. Uh, <laughs> they're Uggs, they're very soft. <laughs> 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 and so um. <laughs> What happened in Steve Renazizi, you know who he is? Steve, Steve Renazizi, he was a comedian that lied that he was in 9-11. Oh my God. And he wasn't. <laughs> really classy people. <laughs> He's morally bankrupt comedian. Yeah, He's comedians bad. are the best. I think that's, I think that's redundant. I think that's redundant. <laughs> terrible. It's just terrible. Morally bankrupt. Yeah, yeah. Well, same shit. So anyway, so he kind of watched it happen. He didn't really help me. And um, he could have gave you a heads up at least. Like, <laughs> I know. Hey, Bobby, you're about to get smacked in the head. Well, even worse, <laughs> when you wanted to call the cops, he pulled the phone off of the wall, right? Yeah. So I tried to call the it's cops. Like, and he it. It's like a thriller. Yeah. yeah. He pulled it out. <laughs> so then, but then Steve had a. He, he's still. A, he's done our podcast as well. <laughs> Wow, you really... Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Hey, said. Bobby, sorry about kicking you in the face 50 times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But Steve Renazizi was on the league, so he had a very successful career. And Ari... So then the way Ari made amends to me years later, is he had a show called This Is Not Happening on Comedy Central, a storytelling show. And he, I did it three times, you know, so... Um, hey, guys, please excuse us while we share this amazing sponsor with you. Mlock, 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 mlock is come backwards. Mlock, 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 mlock Oh, my God, come. babe, you have the giantest nose hair. What? Just, just... Uh, uh, let me finish this first. In the babe, you got a mlock <laughs> You have nose. a mlock on your mlock, nose. Mlock, let's start, ready? Mlock, mlock is come, spelled backwards. <laughs> For your mind. You guys, um, Calm is an app that I use on a nightly basis to get in my meditative uh, slept king state. Because mm -hmm. I am hierarchy. Mm -hmm. And I am uh, above it and below it. And I, I really need um, certain things to get me into a, a spiritual realm and a calmness. And Calm is the app for you. Um, it has... Um, field recordings it has um stories it has um really spiritual music ambient music to help you get relaxed and to go to sleep mm -hmm. and it's really um one of the best apps out there tell them more for listeners to the show calm is offering a special limited time promotion of 40 percent off a calm premium subscription at calm dot com slash belly that's 40 percent off unlimited access to calm's entire library and next uh a new content is added every week get started today at calm dot com slash belly that calm is the number one app for sleep relaxation and meditation mm -hmm. go ahead that's calm dot <laughs> com slash belly over 60 million people use calm go ahead go ahead don't forget to use that promo code <laughs> belly come lock my lock Okay. Enjoy the rest of the show. 
Was he trying to be on the side of like, um, w- was he going like, oh, I'm a feminist or something? Like he raped, supposedly, allegedly raped somebody, therefore he should, I mean, was that what he was going for maybe? Well, no, I mean, here's the thing about the rape. the benefit of the doubt. To, <laughs> it, the if, if the rape was systematic, right? So like Bill Cosby. Right. Bill Cosby has been accused 40, 50 times, right? It's obvious something's there, right? Yeah, yeah. But Kobe, one person accused him. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not right? saying... That's why I'm no, saying, no, so no. you can't so, use... But so, you can hold two truths at the same time. He can. He could have done that. He could be an alleged rapist, but also be this person that, yeah. you know... A f- family you know, man, yeah, a family children, man and all and like, that. And those, he didn't deserve to die. Those truths can exactly. exist don't, in the same space. So true. Yes, yeah. she, he could also... Let's suppose he was one. Yeah. He could have, you know, found God, changed, you know, decided to, like, become a good father, to make amends, or whatever it might be. But to use... And I know that you now by saying say that. this, that our, I'm, 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 I have to fart for real. Oh my God. I have to fart for real. Here we go. Wait, no, no direction? Are you being... Is this something yeah, yeah. that you do? Silence. Silence. <laughs> Jay got oh the Jay got the headphone one. The <laughs> headphone one is way different. That was oh. that was fucking good. Huh? Also, does head, he do this kind of stuff on the headphone? Well, yeah, you crop yeah. dusted us many a couple times. times. At yeah, least yeah, he warns yeah. us. Yeah, I warn you. But can somebody <laughs> like grab a tissue? Because <laughs> that was definitely a short. <laughs> that was juicy, but there's uh, a little fluid in there. Well, I wanted to showcase it, so I so I pushed it out a little bit, but <laughs> that's my. <laughs> that's my. <laughs> so, so like it was underwater. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, uh, that's my bad. I'm so sorry. That was rude. Well, I mean, that being said, uh, you know, I don't smell anything. <laughs> Thank you. There's no smell. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. can you smell the? That's like a sweet <laughs> trick. Oh, you guys are so <laughs> no, nothing, cute. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Wait, when you're with your wife, do you fart in the bed? Um, I don't actually don't fart. <laughs> wow. Wow. A renaissance you're a man. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's uh it's science. <laughs> I, can, I can I explain it. it. Why he's so it, it just, he's so confident in his white trousers. Yeah, yeah. I got white pants. They were brown. They got thrown <laughs> thrown in the wash with white clothes and they came out white. You, what, you, so you don't you don't fart in the bed. Everyone farts in the bed. You can't control your sleeping. You I, fart in the bed. I understand that, Jay, but don't get argumentative what I'm asking though. <laughs> is, is that no, I'm modest. I'm, you know. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I keep it. I keep my my things, you know, away from noses, uh, if possible. Uh, <laughs> uh, Actually, no. I have to go. I have to say, Jay is very. Uh, he's very like polite. He's got very good etiquette about things like that. Like he'll go to the bath. He like. If you're on set or whatever, he'll go to the bathroom or like he'll go away from everyone to like blow his nose even. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Like he'll like leave. He'll like go away. Like he's got a thing like quite clean. He's quite cleanly. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's true. Yeah. You are the like cat. absolute complete opposite. Of <laughs> <laughs> I'm so super sorry, cleanly. baby. He's super like, I doesn't like other people's like saliva or that. If you'd fart, if you fart on him, that's probably not the worst thing you can <laughs> Probably vomit. I spit, uh, I spit on him on a daily basis, accidentally. Cause I and I'm repulsed. <laughs> permanently, permanently repulsed, permanently shuddering with disgust. My friend Sebastian has a um, a towel, a wet towel, next to his bed. Sebastian Maniscalco. Wait, wait, this is a way oh, No, name and shame. Strategy, Shit. What? I've heard this story, and I'm just going to say that it's way more disgusting than any other stra- fart strategy. But what What's Sebastian this? Wait, wait, does. Wait, wait, wait. Strategy. Wait, it's strategy. A strategy. It's a strategy. It's not a strategy. It is to to it's to troubling. to lessen the the smell and to you know. So what wait, he, so he get, farts into it. it. Soften so the blow. Wet, to soften the blow. A yeah. wet towel that he has like next to him. Right, he'll pull it out. He'll stick it between his little Italian butt cheeks because <laughs> this he's poor Italian. guy is being outed. Right. It's okay. <laughs> and uh, it's worse than I can say it about a lot of people, and I don't say it. So just, I'm being good right now, guys. And he um, he muffles it like a, like a gun. You know how they muffle the gun? Silencer. Like the Silencer. The muffler. Yeah. Right? And it deadens the smell, and it's uh, it's good for his wife, Lana. Yeah. I think that's polite. It's charcoal filtered. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fine vodka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, wow. Well, your boyfriend doesn't fart in front of you? No, not on purpose. What's wrong with me, babe? <laughs> you, no, he wouldn't do it on yeah, purpose. Is it because I don't have 
etiquette or what is it i think you got stuck in one of you the earlier um erickson stages yes because there's the, the, yeah it's start there's like a there's a there's like a fe- fecal yeah. stage right oh, yeah <laughs> well he's he's gone through the same thing it's where he holds his poo intentionally for pleasure when i was eight. Oh, not anymore yeah. no <laughs> <laughs> Why would you, what oh i'm sorry bro i, didn't know. <laughs> I thought you still did that <laughs> Yeah, for so you, ple- like wait, I want to delve into it a little bit. I remember I was for like pleasure. I was like 8 years old and I remember my grandparents I was living there at the time were looking for me and they called my mom like we can't find him. Where is he? Where is he? She was like, I don't know, he didn't leave the house. So they kept searching and they found me under a grand piano in the plank position like this, <laughs> completely drenched in sweat, shaking and smiling. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? Me? It's cultural. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, Whitey. It was very Filipino. Um, <laughs> oh my god, that's so troubling. But you know what? You probably only did that one time. And it's no, it was like a, the rest a, of your du- life. A lot of handfuls of times. A lot, a lot of handfuls. Of handfuls dozens yeah. of tens of times. Yeah, I don't know. It, oh, it was well, something about okay. the sweating. Maybe great. back then they didn't have Nintendo Switches and stuff for kids to that play. Was my, that was my game. Yeah. But how did they know what was wrong with you? I told them. Oh, you said okay, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How old you were? Eight. Eight years old. Yeah. And then, um, did you? When did the first time you did drugs? High school. Just marijuana. Uh, and then maybe a taste of the shroom. Maybe. Yeah. Allegedly. A taste allegedly, of the mom. Shroom. allegedly, mom. Allegedly, <laughs> mom. Um, you, you don't do. You've never done drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem like you've done drugs. <laughs> Oh I know he's so he's so clean cut. Yeah, yeah, he's so yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. fucking clean cut. All right, so we weed butter with yeah. obviously melt. weed. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, dude, study careful. People are gonna listen to this. No, back in the day, not now. Back, back in the day, day. High, high school, high school, high school. I did. Oh, there we go. Oh, in high school. He's an Angeles. He's a Los Angeles. That's yeah. right. Yeah, LA, he's dude. Los Angeles. He's like, there, hardcore. There were there were people doing LSD in seventh grade and shit. <laughs> <I bet this. laughs> like no joke. Oh, yeah, me, yeah, me, my, me too. My, my, I did it when I was thirteen or twelve. Yeah, I, I did. I did LSD. Great. Yeah. When you were twelve. Oh, I did meth. meth. He did meth. He was eleven. 12. Shut <laughs> the fuck. When you was in London. Mm. No, not in London. <laughs> eleven. <laughs> eleven. Oh. oh yeah! Oh wow! You know, and then, that is so, so Eurocentric. Anything you say? <laughs> oh London! I miss home. All right, right. I'm very fucking far from my home. Oh, I miss it. Well, um, so you did everything as a kid then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it was everywhere. It was everywhere. Yeah, yeah. especially in LA. Fuck yeah, man. Wrong side of the tracks. I grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> but when did you like? Is it when did you start acting? Uh, I think it was. I like didn't Google 19. you. I'm sorry. I was like 19. <laughs> You're 19. I think it was ni- when I started, and and I didn't work. I didn't work for like three, like three, four years. I was so fucking terrible. What was the first one? Uh, the first thing I ever did was a, a commercial. Like I was super psyched about it. It was like for uh, Sony. And it was starring these Japanese pop stars, and I believe their names. were We need Tommy. to find it. Which tr- I didn't. You try to Google it the other day. I tried to because we were talking, and I showed you this that, uh, the Gap. The Gap commercial. The Ga- guys, Google oh, the Gap commercial. Wait, our, isn't it funny? <laughs> our fans will find it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you and Great. Scarlett Johansson. It's, it's Scarlett Johansson. And what? what? And, he, and then Kutcher. and then driving around there. It's really. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's it? cool. Is it, is it, when you're in your twenties. I was, I don't know how. He's like chub, young Chubby J. It's really oh, cute. cute. I was so adorable. You were. Was it, anyway. did you, like, when, because I, I did, I've done a lot of commercial auditions. Yo, but, oh, but the Sony commercial, I, I was excited because I thought that was going to air in the United States. It just aired in Japan. And I never saw it. I, oh. I literally never saw the commercial. They're going to find we'll it. Find it. <laughs> we will find Can it. We will find it. Can someone find it? I really want to see it. But what was your first big job, though? Well, Crazy first, beautiful, was, right? I, I did, I did, you please I did tell me you've seen that movie. You must have seen I did the course. movie. Oh my god, with, uh, I loved Kirsten. that movie. That was like every high school. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> every everyone I know has yeah. seen that. Like everyone. It's so weird. You know? It's such a good I, I, movie. Like I should watch it again because I, I, I haven't seen I haven't seen it since. I never will forget the movie theater. Taryn Manning. Ta- was that her name? Taryn Manning. Yeah. Taryn Manning. And she's yeah. peeing in the thing, and you guys like all in this. Like, it's just uh-huh. so stuck in my head for some reason. And you're in this like train track thing, and she's peeing. Pop squat gonna be like I'm just gonna drip dry <laughs> <laughs> I, never that. I just never forgot her she was really cool in that I wanna watch it what's it called I, Crazy Love Crazy, Crazy Beautiful Crazy Beautiful and then he, the whole thing is like she's always like 
You say to her like, "Oh, you're so crazy," and she's like, "Oh, you're so beautiful." <laughs> <laughs> That's your Jay impression. Yeah. 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 Dead on. It was spot on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very that, good. That's it. I watched it like three times. It's funny because my high schoolers on the opposite side of the tracks. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, guess which one was on the uh, from the other side of the tracks? The Mexican yeah. brown dude. Yeah. Brown dude. And oh, so, did you want to be a pilot or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, oh wow. shit! I forgot. That. Yeah. Wait, so it's kind of like um, La Bamba. So, it, it, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, La Bamba. Romeo no, and Juliet. No, because no, no, La Bamba, right? Uh, Don't even say that line. No, La Bamba. What Richie about now? me, Richie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have a dream, dream too, Richie. Richie. No, not that. <laughs> <laughs> not that, not that. Richie. No. <laughs> really? I love when he dies. You know, when he <laughs> dies. I haven't seen fuck? this movie. I have no idea what you're talking about. You Richie Valens, you never seen La Bamba? No. Oh, you have it's to watch uh, it. Lou Diamond Phillips. Lou Diamond Phillips. Oh, and who plays the brother? Um, What's his name? Uh, um, Esai Morales. Esai Love him. He's great, dude. You met him? Yeah, he's I, I, I love him too. I met him dude. too. He's a great guy. Great guy. Because because Quinda said his her sister goes because we were watching Magnum last night and um, <laughs> featuring the one and only Bobby Lee. Uh, and then um, <laughs> so then she goes, you were we were on screen together and she, and she goes, I just always thought that that guy was handsome. Oh no, I yeah. go that I think- piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just got defensive really quickly. That ugly piece of shit. <laughs> you, know, but you are very handsome. Girl. If you don't stop, I'm gonna kick you in the face <laughs> a couple <of> times. <laughs> So Crazy Love was the big one. Crazy Beautiful. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> Jesus, Bobby. I'm going to watch it. Crazy Beautiful. It's like, so, it's well, really it's good. Really, I don't know. I need to rewatch. We should rewatch it. It's probably not. It's for, I don't, oh. I don't know. Oh, it, gave me, the, it gave me the feels when I was no. in high school. Totally a cholo in it. Like, hey, bro. No, no, no. Oh. No, he was like, I had like misunderstood. Uh, you were, you were, when you were in like chains and like baggy. Baggy. Yeah, like that like kind 90s. of guy. I was, was just like a 90s. dude from like East LA, you know. Oh, I see. But he was Not a like good a gangster, student. but like yeah. you know. But, but you your relatives go, were, were. Hey, yeah. lady, I love you, lady. Hey, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be with you, my friend. <laughs> I have to watch it. Hey, that's fucking racist. <laughs> yeah. He can do it, okay? <laughs> uh, what was so then? What was your big first big job? Uh, you were on. You were on a show that I was my favorite show for years, which is The Tudors. Oh gosh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know how long I watch it? So it's like for, yeah. beginning yeah. to end. Yeah. It's like just. Sex and corsets, basically. Yeah, which in, is back in the sounds pretty cool. In Tudor yeah. time, <laughs> um, it w- yeah, that was a great show. That I yeah, that was probably I don't know. I've been acting since I was like five, so I You're- did like a big. I did a McVitie's commercial when I was like seven. That Can we see that on YouTube? Cool. Actually, you can. What was it? What's it called? The McVitie's. I don't know if you have that brand here. It's a biscuit commercial. You put it right there because I want to watch like it. A huge lo- I did like a whole like series of them, and I was adorable. <laughs> and then I did a movie. That, yeah, I've just been. I've been doing it a long time. But then you did. Missed. But what was it like? I because I'm sorry for asking, but working with Spielberg. Shh, I, yeah, that's pretty. Well, good. you don't like. You want me to ask you? Should I just talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> Should I just name because it? Because to me, <laughs> should I just mention that? To me, that just, would be like for about five seconds. What that? are? What else is there? I know after that. I know. And I was, right? It's such a small fucking part. But I was like, oh, I'll take it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great. But it's, he's, he's such, sweet, right? Dude, he's the nicest man. He's so sweet, and yeah, and like really fun and. Just lovely, and I unfortunately I cried in front of him, which was oh. really really embarrassing. I was in a lot of pain. Why? Because in the scene in the Ready Player One, th- there's like this dancing scene, and we're like, but we were all in harnesses, and I don't know if you've ever worn one of those, but it's so fucking painful. And then, and I had to keep dropping down, but like I kept hitting my knees, and I was just like, I was utterly black and blue after after my like after that day of filming and um, I burst into tears Ooh, and it. and was he sympathetic or was yes it, yeah yeah roll yeah. the camera let's yeah, yeah, no, 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 you no, gotta no. get the shot no, it was awful it was so I just felt like such a twat but I was just like you know tired and feeling emo and like Ooh, I'm not doing this well <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah it was that, terrible but he's great he's and, the, the, and I actually really love the movie yeah I, even I saw though it. I'm like you know, I lo- I actually love that movie. No, I, I saw the movie too. I love it. My, it's my nephew's favorite movie. It, it, it's oh, a gr- it's cool. a pretty. I like I because I'm. It's a great movie. It. All right. Because I'm barely in. <laughs> I'm barely in it. I feel like I can. I still, say it's that. a great movie. Okay, thanks, it's Bobby. Spielberg, it's a Spielberg movie. Wasn't I good in it? Yeah, you were great in it. Yeah, it was okay? great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right. Thanks. I want to ask him about this fucking guy right here. This bro right here. 
This what's Brad Abbott. What's up, dude? The 9 11 movie, what's man. What's up, dude? Oh, that was. You just told me about that. I need. I haven't. I haven't seen it. Oh, it's. I love that movie. With Nicholas Cage, the Nicholas Cage one. <clears throat> and Mike, yeah. is it? Yeah, Pena. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, well, you don't like him? No, he's great. <laughs> no, we're friends. Why did you whisper on Michael Pena? I don't know. I, I, I think she was afraid it wasn't him. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was like the other brown guy. Like, is it Danny Trejo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, can I just tell you my opinion about? Oh. Uh, can I tell you about my Sorry. opinion about Michael yeah. Pena? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. So. <laughs> There was a time. I that's why you were whispering, because you knew that Bobby didn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, shit! Yeah, we've uncovered it's not that. It's just that back in the day, we I would say hi to him, and he was yeah. very friendly. But then one time, then he blew up, right? He started mm-hmm. becoming su- successful, and then I saw him at um, Fresh Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's that? It's, it's a, a pizza, pizza place. It's oh, a pizza place. <laughs> yeah. How did I know that? <laughs> yeah. I did. And I go, I said, walk up, and I go, what's up, dude? Right? And he kind of looked at me, and then he just kind of went back into his <laughs> meal with his family. I just needed a... Was it your approach, though? The what's up, dude, is a little aggressive. That was a little too hard. I, I'll show you exactly how it okay, sure. I'll be real. You're Michael Pena, okay, George? Hey, what's up, man? Oh, okay. Right. Oh. No, he didn't do that. No. He went... And then, oh, I, I don't know why, but when that happens... I just switch off. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. I start hating. I don't know why. Maybe I don't know what went on in his day. Maybe he had a hard day and I'm reading it wrong. Maybe it's me. It's probably fucking me. Yeah, it's me. Sometimes. It probably is just he's having a shit day. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. I don't know. You That's know, what it is. It's like, there was some other twat that came up right before you got there. It was like, oh, Michael Pena, I love your movies. Oh, can you slide my face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and then you would just happen to be the next guy, and he probably didn't. He was just like, eh. Also, we don't know what, like, you know, you. like, you know, when I, um, when my dad died in August, I remember some guy came up. I was walking down the street, and some guy said hi to me that I knew. And I was just so, just in trauma, just mm. traumatized. That I, I didn't even say anything. I just walked by, and then he might think, you know what I mean. So you just don't know yeah. what people think. So it's well, so. Hold so on. Michael Pena. We I, like him again. I like him again. So okay, Michael. Oh, no, guys, progress, progress, guys. Michael, we, we you know, we got these guys on the podcast. Do the do the podcast. You make amends to me. <laughs> you make amends, you make amends to, to, me. to me. Live, Tiger Belly, all right? <laughs> because of the Fresh Brothers. Come on, Mikey. All right, Mikey. Mikey, we, Mikey. Yeah. But when you, so when you were Oliver Stone directed that. Yeah. See, that's another one. Where I'd just be like, holy Shaking. fuck, mm-hmm. was he nice? He was a trip. <laughs> <laughs> he was a trip. Is that good or bad? Yeah. Great. It's great. I yeah. liked it. He, he's, he's like a um, very smart guy, um, uh, very thoughtful. Uh, obviously, he has like, you know, he's got a crazy film directing career. Um, I, I like my experience with him is I, I fucking love the guy, dude. Oh, yeah. I would yeah. be the it was one. It was one of the coolest um uh, sort of pre-production uh, processes that I've ever like. It was it was really dope. He what? put me in these. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> yeah. Tell me. I mean, it's it's weird talking about it to be honest because <laughs> I, I, I'm like because it's uh, Dominic Pazula was a a real man. You know, it was a real oh real right officer. This is a true story. It's based on these real real people. You played a real guy. Yeah. Oh fuck. So so it was so it's like it's you know I'm like. All right, should I tell these stories or should I just like let it be? You know what I mean? Because like this guy's got a family, and it, you know, initially, I, from what I heard, is that uh, not everybody was like on board with telling the story. Mm. Oh. Uh, so there was some of that. Um, I think ultimately it worked out, and somebody reached out to me and like uh, thanked me for for the job that it did and telling the story and all that. So I think I, I think ultimately it, it worked. Um, but, but it was, um, it was, it was, it was hard, but like going to the premiere in New York city, there was hundreds of Port Authority officers, firefighters, cops, yeah. and, and, and you see these like badass dudes, like burly, you know, fucking blue collar, just men just weeping. I've never seen so many guys oh, like in the movie theater. Can you say that they invited theater, just... all the first defend, first uh, responders, sorry, yeah, to, yeah. The, uh, to the premiere? Every, oh, yeah, like, so it was cool. packed. The, the the premiere was packed with people and they oh. were in uniform. What was your guys' first impression of Bobby when you first met him on set? Adorable. Um, okay, good. I was wildly attracted to him. <laughs> I still that. am. Seriously, still no, am. he, he yeah, Jay was like, about him, man. shit. Yeah. No, I, ha. 
first of all, that there, I don't know if you remember, but that day with out there. Oh, you were so nervous. I was, and you were so sweating nervous. Sweating bullets. What? Sweating you bullets. You had that fucking. He called me crying that stu- night. He oh, just, he's like everyone on set hates me. Does <laughs> he? he would say that all the time. Silly. Did you really? Yeah. He cried. Was I cried. I, I fucking cried. Why? I you you thought I hated you? I hate. I thought both of you hated me. Mm. Why? Why? Just that day, man. Just that fucking day. <laughs> so it had nothing to do with <laughs> us. No. In my it was head, your I'm own, like, fuck these own shit. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I really did. Yeah, I was the like, fuck up. It made me. It was so nerve wracking. I, I hated it. Yeah, yeah. you. Yeah. Like, you what were was, not having what fun. Was, uh, not, what was the what was the what was the first scene that that he did? He turns up. It was the first scene where his character appears, and it was with the mustache, and it was boiling fucking hot, and his stupid mustache. He had to keep putting. Drove up in the Corvette, and I'm like, Corvette. What is Ferrari. it? A Ferrari. A Ferrari, whatever, whatever. <laughs> oh my God. She sponsored the Ferrari, say it right. Parent, what, your parents from uh, Mexico, are they from, I mean, how, what generation are you? Like third or something. All oh, right. I don't even know. What did your parents do? Uh, my dad's a mechanic, and my mom, I don't know, a bunch of random like accounting jobs and mm-hmm. shit. But you had, would you say that you had a good childhood? I had. It was abandoned. I that. had an amazing family. <laughs> But not necessarily a great childhood. I mean, you know, I grew up in, we grew up in, it was like uh, around a lot of weird, crazy shit in LA, you know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So you didn't, because I always thought maybe that, I don't know. It's funny. It it must be the way it looked, but everybody has this idea like, wow, he must like, you know, uh, his mom sings to him, like (laughs) ballads and his father's like, you know. Like Coco. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) I I always thought that you were Coco grown up. Child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but you had the perception is a little different. Yeah, uh, or the reality is a little different. The perception, you know, like Natasha Legero that we <laughs> talked about earlier. She had she comes from a very working class kind of a family, yeah. and um, people assume that she's from like the Hamptons or some shit, but she's not. You know, I mean, yeah. she's just well, she's a fancy lady. She's fancy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're a fancy guy. I'm a fancy lady. <laughs> <laughs> a fancy lady. Yeah, I'm a fancy lady. Did you have a traumatic or does uh, no? Your t- mine was pretty lovely. Yeah, because it was like in oh what in the countryside. In the yeah, 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 I mean, my parents were divorced when I was like little, but oh, you know, was that near um the Shire? It's not. It's, actually, it's not the Shire. It's just what people call it. Yeah. It's West Sussex. It was Middle Earth, Essex. basically. Was, You're from Essex then. Essex. No, <laughs> you said this before. No. Yeah. West Sussex. Uh, what? Uh, say it, Bobby. What she said? She's from Essex. <laughs> <laughs> If I was from Essex, I would I know. be talking like that. But your, ki- your, your brothers and sisters are ac- actors too, right? Huh? My brother and sister, yeah. Wow. Yeah, all of they were. I mean, my sister's still an actress, but my brother my brother gave up when he was like, moved on to different things when he was like tw- in his 20s. He loves this. Sh- oh my God, he's going to listen to this. Hi, Roll. What, what Ro- Roll listens to Tiger Mom? Rollo. Rollo yeah. does? Oh, she she he, actually told me before I, we I came, she's like, my brother actually, loves that show. So I what? didn't yeah. know, so because we, I, I didn't know who you were Rolo. when you came to work on the show. Uh, nobody does. Everyone knows who you are in America. I know who you were. Everyone in America knows really? who you are. Okay. I, dude, from back in the day, I grew up, like, I don't know, watching, you know, Mad TV and shit. Oh. My, bro- but my brother, totally, yeah. Rollo. I was a fan texted me and was like, holy shit, you got Bobby Lee on your show. I love his podcast. I was like, yeah, oh, cool. Oh. Ooh. Hi, Ro. Hello, Rolo. <laughs> I love you. Rolo. Rolo. <laughs> Is Rolo a straight? Yes. Uh, He's about to have a baby. Hi, Rolo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't change I just have, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, like, I like his name, Rolo. Huh? What, Rolo. Does, what does he do? He wasn't acting now. He's a photographer. Oh, does he live here? Or? No, he lives in Spain, in Madrid. Oh, I want to meet Rolo. Oh, he's got, oh, hopefully he'll come Could out. He do, would he do a, a photos for Tiger Belly? Fuck yeah, he would. He would love to. Done. Oh, well, then let's get, Rolo is going to be our next fo- fo- photo shoot. He lives in Spain. Can you fly to Spain then? We'll, we'll go. We'll fucking go to Spain. <laughs> Dude, hi, you've got to come to Europe. Here. Come to Europe. You know, he, she's he tr- refuses. He actually, I'm Come never to allowed to step foot in Spain, according to Bobby. Why? Because she's fucked so many guys there. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Why I mean, is Spanish soccer players a point point fucking my girl? No, I just got ass fucked by one soccer player, and now <laughs> by one Aww. Spanish one yeah. yeah. Spanish I'm soccer to go player. There. Like, okay. prof- you have to imagine. Look at look at my body. Be real. Look at my. Be real. Oh, though. actually physically look at it right now. No, I mean just look at through the clothes, right? <laughs> right. I'm, this is not a specimen of sexuality. It's a specimen of something, though. 
<laughs> it is very novel. It's a novel. It is novel. Yeah. Novel board. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm not a traditional, like, man-man. I'm kind of yellow and doughy and kind of, like, roly-poly. As opposed to... And, like, her, she was, she dated, like, a fucking, what's that, rugby? Oh, not true. I've always liked doughy boys. That's always been my thing. In high school, I loved chubby boys. So yeah, but not- later in life, though, you you were you were. I met the other dude. Yeah, by I was- accident. I mean, eventually, you you know, they 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 make it to the roster, but that's not like I'm not. <laughs> they're not specific to like my taste. She was. She was. It was an experimental stuff. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I exper- I briefly experimented yeah, with hot boys. Yeah. Briefly. Yeah, man. And she's like, dude, those big penises are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All those veins. And- <laughs> oh. <laughs> That felt kind of hard like, bodies. Yeah, that, that, it's so gross. That doesn't feel right. It feels weird, but it's it's the way you say yeah. it, the way okay. I don't want a hard-bodied man, Swan. I want a puffin. <laughs> Whoa, chubby puffin. Uh, I want to ask for your advice because you guys are actors. Um, well, <laughs> no, I'm being real. You, I'm being real because I, I've auditioned before a lot yeah, of times, yeah. and sometimes. I'm okay, I'm good. But sometimes I get so nervous that I just, I'm a disaster in there. <laughs> What's so funny about no, it? Everyone's, diabolic? Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's been a disaster in the audition. You've had bad auditions. Of course, everybody has. You. When's the last time you auditioned? It's been a very Jay long Hannah. time. Jay <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> exactly, I'm yeah. like, he doesn't you audition. fucker. Offers. It's yeah. been years, guys, I'm sorry. Did you read for Magnum? <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I was like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was like, was like, you know, the, the knee jerk reaction is because I, I didn't, I was like, I, you know, people Movies are going to hate it. People, I knew people were going to want it to like not work. I kind of, I thought that, you know. But you know what's so funny? Because we, today, we were at this, um, um, what's it, the Katsu place. Oh, uh, yeah. And so I go down and have a cigarette and I'm not lying. Four separate groups of people came up to me and says, "Hey, you're Jin from Shut Mad. I'm, I, I swear to fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. So fucking crazy, right? <laughs> you're like, no, it, I'm fucking Bobby Lee from like, no, but it, world. It, but to me in my head though is like, and I, you Except know, small we're, island. We're on an airport. So you stole their wallets? <laughs> no, no, no. And then we were at an airport once, and this man came up to me and goes, "I love Magnum PI, and I love people love your it. character." So my point is, is that. It's not one of those shows that's gonna. I don't come and go. I think it's a show that's gonna stay. Yeah. yeah Do you yeah. have that sense? No, yeah. it's going to. I, I guarantee it. Y- y- I, it's yeah. Guarantee it, yeah. Uh, it's you know you, you <laughs> when you um when you travel you know when you're flying and you, you're at the airport that's when you know if a show's doing well yeah 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 uh, you know you have people from all over you, the I place. Mean, Jay cannot go anywhere on in this town without being inundated. It's like, yeah, and people don't recognize me. I don't even think they know my name. I'm Magnum. Yeah, it's true, actually. Yeah, yeah. They don't know my name. Hey, Magnum! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the funniest thing is sometimes, it, like, they'll feel it, like, necessary to announce my presence. Yeah. Like, hey, he's, hey guys, it's Magnum. <laughs> it's Magnum, right here. Yeah. You take a picture, take a picture with him. It's like, this, this is very strange. It's very strange. But that, but that's cool, though. That, that means that, that it's hitting some sort of fucking... It definitely is. I think is. people dig it the show. It definitely you know? yeah. is. And to choose... A Hispanic. It's weird. It, it, no, no, I think it's, it's ingenious. It really yeah. is ingenious. It, it, because it makes it so relevant, right, Gab? Right. right. <laughs> and to have... Is she Hispanic? See, si, Gabriela. Yeah. <laughs> what to have you? somebody from, you know... You're Filipino? So we're like kindred so, spirits. Yeah. Yeah. To have a Higgins as Wolfgang. somebody from Middle Earth. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like a real life Hobbit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He has an interesting take, mythological. <laughs> right? Yeah, with a mythical beast? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's got like, you know, three or whatever. So, you know what I mean? yeah. 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 So it's I think it makes it really, choice. you know, it, it cool, man. Uh-huh. And hope, what do you, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You're trying to weed out gin? Is that what it is? Love well, we already head. pitched how you die. <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't know. Can I? Should we have a spoiler alert as to what scene that you and I are filming on Monday? Yeah. I, well, I. You're gonna be. Are you actually going to be fully naked? Are you gonna commit? Ooh. Oh, that's not hard. Well, it's so funny because I talked to. I was like, is it? I was like, I'm pretty sure Bobby will be okay with being naked, but it's like. Don't talk they, about the scene. Just talk about being to, naked. Do they then have to talk about? 
no, here's, then I'll say it. The rest of the people. I get a call from Gene two weeks ago, and he goes, "I have something to talk to you about." <laughs> I go, "What is it?" And he goes, "Do you mind being naked on the show?" And I go, "I don't like to do things fifty fifty. <laughs> I, I I'm, I'm not going to wear that tan don't spandex you, thing." No, 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 yeah. don't they give you like a, a bag? I don't want a it. A mer- I go, a merkin. I go, I want to be fully a cock fucking naked. He wants to be free. I know, but what's funny is they didn't call me and be like, "Do you mind if Bob?" <laughs> Naked. You will be naked. Like, where, like where's my call? It, it's not going to scar you. In <laughs> Do fact, you mind it's, seeing it's, it's a magical thing to see me naked. Naked body. Yeah. I'm and they said it, legally we can't. So you can't. I can't go full nude on it. They said. What do you mean? Because who's the showrunner? What's his name? Peter. Peter. <laughs> That's his name, right? Peter. Where is this going? No, because because Gene know. called me and the showroom was on the, was on speak was on speakerphone too, and I could hear him say he he can't do it legally. As in, as in you can't show your genitalia. Yeah, I can't show my dick. Okay, of course not. It's CBS. Yeah, but I but I, but then I wanted to I wanted to do the scene completely naked, but then blur it. You know, Chris Pratt did that on Parks and Rec. Didn't tell anyone. He took his dick out to get Amy Poehler to laugh. Yeah. And then he got a big no for NBC. And they were like, you can't be doing that on set. Yeah. Uh, Even though everyone no, laughed. You know, you know what? Chris hilarious. Pratt did it already. Just the cock sock, fuck's sake, Bobby. <laughs> Uh, I know. Please, please. Don't hurt her eyes. Please wear the cock sock. I know, but it's so, because I just did a Netflix show. No, with, I, I would, can you just wear maybe the, the, I'll get you like a little, like. Why little? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> little, like, oh, fuck you. you. I'll get you a tiny little, little <laughs> I, I, I know, tiny piggy size little <laughs> thing to cover it. <laughs> fuck you. It's not cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, say small either. Regular size, a regular giant average size. Sequin sack in order for you to pour your junk into. And, <laughs> yeah. And then I'll feel comfortable. And and like, considerable heft. <laughs> gonna put it in the sock. Yeah. Is this you and I in the scene? Yes. Oh, it could be fun. I mean, your house in it, I think. I'm gonna. Try That's all I can not, say. I'm not trying not to scene. blush. Yeah. No, you're not working with yeah. it. Yeah. Am I in any scenes with you this week? I don't. I, I don't know. know. I don't think no. Are we? Oh, I, don't, I don't know your schedule. <laughs> you didn't read the script? Yeah, you did read the script. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, are we doing unhelpful advice? Yes, yeah, we, we do. are. Hey, guys, excuse us while we share this amazing sponsor with you. <laughs> oh, shit. Something came out of my mouth. Let's, keep, let's do it. One more. Hymns. <laughs> Hymns. You guys, um, hymns is something that I wish was invented many, many years ago because what it is is if you have problematics with your um, losing your hair, if you have problematics with um, erectile dysfunction, you don't have to like hide in a hole like I did. You know, or you know, and or just get depressed because mm-hmm. there's nothing you can do about it. Because I had no money back then. What you can do now is it's affordable. You can talk to professional people about your manly problems, mm-hmm. right? So it's like if you're if you want to talk about your erectile dysfunction, you'll mm-hmm. talk to professionals about it. Medical, real doctors, real doctors, and real prescriptions as well. Real prescriptions. Dive into 2020 hair first. Right now, our listeners can get started with their first month free. Go to 4 slash belly. That's 4 slash belly. Prescription requires an online consultation with a physician who will determine if a, pres- a prescription is appropriate. Okay, but, but, Offer a valid only if prescribed. Three month minimum Let me say something too. Let yeah. me say something real mm-hmm. quick. Don't stop biting. <laughs> oh, stop biting me. He said, he said don't stop biting. Don't stop biting. See, that's a yeah, fake yeah, prescription. Don't stop biting, yeah. yeah. You know when you go to a gas station and you see these like purple pills, and they go, "This will help." This is not what this is. This oh, is, like the goat weed. Yeah, this yeah. is real this is snake oil stuff. Yeah, this is that snake oil stuff. That's the stuff that they used to do, do back in the day. Mm-hmm. This is real professional stuff. Tell them more. And just to continue the disclaimer, additional restrictions <laughs> apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Remember, that's forehams.com slash belly. This holiday season, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow with four hams. Enjoy the show. Oh, this is what we do at the. This is what we do at the end. We have a lot of people email with a lot of problems. <gasps> Great, and I'm paying we, agony and, on. Yeah, and we yeah. try to either help them or not. Oh, oh. Generally, we try to help. We've helped a lot of people go through a lot of 
But then a lot of people want to them kill themselves no, too. No, no, no. Yeah, don't want to do serious? that. No, no I'm being, I don't say I'm being, being serious. But like, you are being serious. No, we. It doesn't have to be helpful, but it can be whatever. Some but, people actually say that they want to kill themselves. No, no I'm just you, kidding. But no, that no, no. writers, yes. Seriously, yeah, sometimes yeah. they do. Yeah, it's some serious stuff. Oh, some very oh, serious oh, stuff. No. All right, so let's uh, let's get one. <laughs> <laughs> Go Great. fish. Go fish. She looks so nervous. Yeah. I don't want to. Uh, uh. Unhelpful advice with the cast of Magnum P.I. Oh, shit. I didn't see Hello, that. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm forcibly early retired in July and need your guidance as to what to do next. I am old, like Callan's age, so like 50 years old, but not old enough to hang him up for life. How do I transfer from being a professional, uh, from being in professional geekery to something new? I have no uh, marketable skill. Professional skills. what? Geekery. So I think he plays a lot of video games or like cards, something like that. As, okay. As a job. So okay. he needs to trans, uh, or maybe he's just in computers. Yeah. He needs to transfer to something new, something more creative. How does he make that transition? Can we get That's another the one? That's fucking question. That's, it's question? an old guy that needs help. Can we get another one? Um, yeah, yeah, not the best. <laughs> I'm not a fucking recruitment consultant. <laughs> I, know. I don't know. Can you go to the uh, military at got, that age? We got, I don't know. No, I think one. you know, okay. social media is the answer to everything. Obviously, <laughs> kind of. Get on, get become a social media star. Anyway. All right, we got another question. Sorry, Jason. <laughs> get a cute cat and start an Instagram <laughs> account. <laughs> After the terrible news of Kobe's death and seeing Shaq's reaction of trying to mend relationships, it makes me think of my past friendship with my buddy Ryan. We were best friends through middle school. I would go to his place just about every weekend to play Halo, eat Hot Pockets, and text girls on his sidekick phone. But during high school, I feel like he ditched me to become best friends with our mutual friend, a. I was hurt by that, but since we're still friends, I didn't make a fuss of it. Also, during high school, he got into a relationship with a girl that he's still with. We're 25 now. Needless to say, we've grown apart, and I see he still feels resentment about that, and it haunts me. What would you guys do in my position? Should I reach out? What's he having resentments about? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Pockets? Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh! Oh, my. oh Jesus God, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. That's how I feel I about it. I <laughs> no. That Sorry, had, my bad. That, that was had, rude. That was... <laughs> uh, that was I rude. just think you should That's go off. to the <laughs> that shit up. Should we take a break so you could shit? I think, I think I am so sorry. shower. Everything's fine. I got it under control. <laughs> Do you have a beat <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that a thing? I'm from the streets. I'm so sorry. He's fine. Like, I, don't, you know? I just, I don't right. just worry for your comfort. Yeah, I, everything's fine. He's gonna slip off his chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the guy's saying. I have a friend like that too. I have a friend named Jensen. I'll say it because he said, and I love him, and I don't know what it is, but we just kind of drifted apart. Mm -hmm. And you know, when something like the Kobe thing happens, I think of him a lot, and I. I want to be able to like just sit down with them and just have a meal, but I don't know why I haven't reached out. You know what I mean? It's I don't know what it is. But don't you think that if you if you were someone else, like you would always t tell yourself to do it? Like if you put yourself in someone else, you'd be like, "For fuck's sake, Bobby! For fuck's sake, Bobby! Life is too short. You could get." That's exactly. Tomorrow. And also, I have a question. Do you still enjoy his company? The. Question. Because you can't obligate yourself. Yeah, you just grown apart. Like you can I'm gonna say something so this. Hollywood and douchey, <laughs> and this is something that okay. I'm gonna say it is um, over the years. Ugh, this is, sounds so bad, and when I, I don't know, I'm just gonna say. Is it, it because of like how you feel fame? No, it's not even just that. It's just that I've always surrounded myself with dudes that are just funnier than me, right? Just to, to up my game. So, you know, everyone that I've surrounded myself with are people that are, you know, are big comics that are really f super funny. And um, not morally bankrupt. Ones. <laughs> some morally okay. bankrupt, but yeah, but but mostly good, good people. And um, I hate that about myself. You know, I hate the f and it's not that I, Do you I feel like a star fucker. No, I, it's not about that. It's just because there's a lot of people that are big that I hate and I don't want to hang no, out. But with. I think I think in some ways that's sort of aspirational. You want to be like challenged. You want to you want to be around people that are sort of like minded. I mean, that are doing honest the same. about it. Yeah, no, I, I don't think that's a, <laughs> that a bad thing. True. <laughs> I feel like sometimes people hold on to shit because they 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 uh, they want to encumber themselves with something. And it's like they're used to that place 
of having some kind of weight on them. Mm-hmm. You know, like we get used to having that and carrying that around with us. And sometimes the weight is more important than the actual relationship. Like yeah. Just get the fuck over it and say hi or send that text. You, and you all of a sudden that's gone. And it, it, you either have a relationship or you don't. You know what I no, mean? No, I already know that that's going to happen. And also I, I have to say this is, is that I love him. Right. Like I, if he passed, it would be devastating to me. Right. You know, and well, I, think, I think that's your answer. Mm. All right. Give him a call. Come on. I will. Wait, hold on. Are we doing? Are we no, no. We're, let's go back to now. This. <laughs> well, I think, I think, I think, I think it applies. You're on home. That's what applies. That's what it, I'm saying. It, it, it applies. totally does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the answer is call him. You should yes. fucking call him. Have you guys man. had life that? Too short. Anyone in your life you uh, didn't reach out to and you finally did or wish you could right now? Are you guys just perfect people? Uh, <laughs> kind of. <All> right. <laughs> I can speak for myself. <laughs> No, I speak for myself. No, I I keep the people I love. Mm. Actually, I'm no, I'm crap at correspondence, but Mm. I'm lucky. I'm pretty crappy. I'm shit. I've been here for like eight months. Like I've there's so many babies I haven't met. Like everyone's like Uh, like, I'm so far from home. I'm like I feel like I'm living on the moon. I might as well be. Uh, Oh, since since I dated him um, in the last seven years, because I think that he's so funny that when I have to sit through um conversing with very unfunny people it i kind of just like tune out i'm not even joking he's one of the funniest people i've ever met he's so funny and and i have to say the same thing has started to apply in my life i'm like oh shit i'm gonna have to stop or when people just you know just just throw the dad jokes and you're like oh yeah like just sit there and pretend to enjoy it it's not funny yeah my question to jay is when are you gonna do stand-up yeah, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> when are yeah. you going to officially uh, invite, invite me, man? Well, you're here. So, uh, honestly, though. Yeah. Will you... Uh, th- and uh, we're not going to cut this out. I don't care for what you say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you now, right? <laughs> would you ever try it? Uh, of course I would. Of course you would. You would. Yeah, you would. Yeah, are you up. writing stuff now? I'm not. Yes. No. Yeah. He doesn't need to write it down. He's just a fucking <laughs> improv, dude. <laughs> fucking I'm off the cuff. talent. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. But I honestly, I, w- I want you to start just writing bits down now, yeah. ideas. So because it, w- I feel like when it happens, it's going to be like two weeks. Like it's going to be like, hey, and Jay, in two weeks, you're going to do it. So you I, need to stop I, prepping. I could write some shit in two weeks. <laughs> I want to be I under the gun. Just, you know what I mean? I, 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 Pressure, baby. <laughs> <it's> diamonds. <laughs> because he did it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. How did it go? Yeah. How many? Okay, how many seats did you? Were, how many people were in the audience? Seven hundred, I think. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Seven hundred. And, and what did you go for? What was your like? He like, did a futon. joke. What was joke. your POV? He did, he did a futon joke. Started strong. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Ye without jokes. Thank <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, not cast the first fucking yeah. stone. Uh, so when, okay? he was, when he was on stage, Gilbert and I ran into the audience, sat down. Yeah. And what did I keep saying? I don't light him. Li- yeah, you, he wanted the lights to be pulled immediately in the middle I, of this. <laughs> I thought he was bombing so bad. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. You I, fucking I was done like, get the, ca- get the cane. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> blink, blink. <laughs> get the cane. Yeah, Are you because, serious? Yeah. So rude I'm so mean. sorry. I'm br- you're Jesus, I think that's I'm going to have to come when you do your thing. And I that's a rite of passage. Bobby. You have to bomb. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got it out of the way. He you're good it. now. You're going to be golden yeah. next time. It, it, here's the thing, dude. George. Shit. It's the fact that... How many times have you done that? That takes up? fucking balls, dude. Yeah. yeah. Hundreds. Yeah, you've you done a do. hundred times since then, right? Yeah. Yeah. And to, to eat it that bad. <laughs> <laughs> in front of that many people. And so to have crushing. the balls so crushing. to keep doing it. Power move. Is a yeah. fucking power move, brother. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Futon forever, man. <laughs> keep doing that bit. <laughs> Funny, Fut- man, forever. Futon. 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 I made, Futon. 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 I made him do it. Oh, you did. Crushed. Crushed. I, I think Jay would take probably the same approach as me. It's kind of black out with our prepared jokes and improvise yeah, and talk to the crowd. That's I, what I did. I would do that. Yeah, yeah. Probably I'd, I'd probably just like riff, you know? Like yeah. I think the interaction would be fun. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Or not. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Kalila, Kalila did it 10 times. Yeah. Shut oh, up. Yeah. I am terrible. She hated she it. She still he, did it. Just so you know, he makes everyone he likes. 
do stand up. Shit. Uh, Birdie. Uh, uh, I was about uh, to say. <laughs> Birdie. <laughs> Awkward silence. Uh. So, uh, Purdy, you want to. Hey, uh, Purdy, you want to do some stand up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought you were like, Purdy, you want to sell tickets out front? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like My- Michael Rosenbaum, who had never done it before, I invited him at the Irvine Improv. Yeah. And he just went up and did it. You know? Loved it. Was Will it Sasso, oh, never done it. My heart rate is <laughs> yeah, really sick. <laughs> yeah, Will I'm Sasso. Terrible. And cool. let me tell you something. When they do it, in front of a packed room, especially if it's not going well, and they can just keep it together, right? That's amazing. I, there's yeah. such a, it, I, I'm so fucking proud for it, dude. It really is. It makes <laughs> me, it, it, it it makes me realize, you know what I mean, that these people are just ballsy and taking risks and, and, and just, just doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta have a you gotta have a Hawaii. <laughs> just the idea. Look at, look at it's just like, it's, yeah. I mean, yeah. You can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yep, yep, you gotta have a Magnum PI. Like you should do a show in Hawaii and have them open up. Right. Oh, yeah, you done. Should. You done. We should do that. Show. Yeah. Just do a show a weekend. You host. You feature. Oh, you Bobby. Host. No, because Koi yeah. yeah. wants me to Joe do. Joe Koi would do it too. No, Joe Koi wants me to open for him in front of thirty thousand pe- people. Park. Jesus. It could go in front of thirty thousand people. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> five minutes. Five minutes, Jay. I think, yeah. I think more than Joe as well. The you more the merrier. The yeah, yeah. The more the merrier. I think I, I would imagine that like if you have more people, maybe that would be some better. Jay, you would be so fucking scared back there. You wouldn't be? No, oh, here's want, the challenge. No, he wants me to be scared. That's why I won't be. That's why I won't be. Can I say this? For three weeks on the podcast, he promoted to the whole entire audience to come to the show to watch me do stand-up for the first time so I can bomb. And Trust me, guys. He's going to bomb. You got to be there. That's what he said. <laughs> He does it. We'll do it. <laughs> he may shit his pants. Who knows? What Pass out. <laughs> That's what I did. I thought, you know what? I was so nervous about this one. Which this, this podcast, podcast because you know, in a hotel room. I was because we never we always do it in my house. Janky yeah. hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never done it like this, and I really we should just do this all the time. This kind of yeah, fun. I know. Yeah, on the yeah. road. Yeah, on the road, it's fun. Yeah. On the road again. Dude, with these two, you guys were amazing. Oh, I dude. really enjoyed your Hawaiian singing. At yeah. the it was that Korean. It's Hawaiian. <laughs> it right. turned into like a hybrid. <laughs> it was a hybrid. It was. A, I know. I know. <laughs> what are your handles? Wow. I know your, your fucking handles. What's a handle? Like, like you're a, on your, your per, Instagram, Twitter. You don't care about followers. Oh, What's my um, name. Okay. <laughs> I know, but so angry. At Perdita <laughs> Weeks, then. Yeah. At Jay Hernandez. Uh, is there a space yeah. or a little thing? Oh, I think it's. It'll you have zero zero one. Yeah, zero zero one. Yeah. Yeah, zero zero one. I have, I have, and I have an on. I put it underscore weeks underscore. Okay, so that's you self official at the end, and then I just like that's the fucking name, and I had to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> so like, also, blast. I want to promote Friday nights. You know what I mean? Uh, Magnum guy comes on, mm-hmm. and I'm on it. Um, I'm doing my fourth one this week. Yeah. I, I, I gonna love, be in I, the nude. I'm Honestly, gonna be in the that, nude. <laughs> Bobby is funny as shit on the show. I love doing yeah, it. Dude, Don't say that. It's a blast. I love it. He's fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah. I, so whatever, much fun having him feels, on the show. <laughs> makes no, us I, feel really good about ourselves. <laughs> and I honestly, I really genuinely like you guys a lot. Hopefully, we'll be friends and uh, we are you friends know, forever. If, we, if I see you at a pizza joint in a couple years, <laughs> I, I swear to God, yeah. I'm gonna fucking ignore you. <laughs> okay. If bro, if you did that, bro. <laughs> It would crush my fucking shit. I dude. would never do that. I know, but it would crush my shit. You want my, my shit crushed? <laughs> it depends on what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would fart on you. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry for farting. That was rude. It's fine. Yeah, but you know, that's life. All right. Bye. 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 Oh my God. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for uh, listening to the podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, sleepers, if you're listening now, you get news first. Bad Friends, Bobby's podcast with Andrew Santino launches on Monday, Feb 17th. Set your alarm clock, subscribe on iTunes and YouTube. I heard that the first two episodes are great. This copy was written by George Kimmel, the producer. George. What? Bobby, although Bobby didn't have to go out so long. Oh, I didn't. Oh, wait. George, I screwed up George's joke. There was a punchline. I heard the first two episodes, and they're great. Although Bobby didn't have to go on so long about my tiki head in episode two. Anyways, thank you to Com, Rothies, and Hims uh, for sponsoring this special Hawaii episode. For a limited time, get 40% off a Com premium subscription at com.com slash belly. What's happening in the back? Covered, style, <laughs> sustainably. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do the housekeeping while Bobby is playing on the Oculus. I don't know what the game is called, though. Uh, okay, ready?
Okay, he's playing it right now. I'm sorry, I'm going to try to keep going. Anyways, comfort, style, and uh, sustainability. These are the shoes you've been waiting for. Go to rothys.com, R-O-T-H-Y-S.com, slash belly, to get your new favorite flats, or your mom or girlfriend's new favorite flats. Valentine's Day is coming up, so make sure you grab them some. Dive into 2020 hair first. Get started with your first month free at 4 slash belly. Get your tickets to see the Slap King live. Bobby will be in Schaumburg, Illinois, San Jose, Denver, Houston. So go to bobbyleelive.com and grab them before they're gone. Get your question on Tiger Belly by emailing us at adviceonhelpful at gmail.com. They're going, we're going for interesting, unusual, non-typical problems. We need your help as much as you want ours. That's adviceonhelpful at gmail.com. Guys, I, I'll be honest right now. It's hard to do this because Bobby's making everyone play some game on the oculus rift and vr anyways we love you so much uh we'll see you back in la bye